Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We've just covered for two hours uh, proceeding in the Kevin Spacey sexual abuse civil case by Mr. Rapp. See, Rapp, Kevin Spacey wants it in federal court. He thinks he's going to win here, and he made a big argument that he's a domiciled resident of Baltimore, Maryland. Now, Rapp's lawyer said, no, you were running the theater in London, you had a 10-year contract, also you flew to Los Angeles to get mental treatment once the case was filed and you lost your job. You don't live in Baltimore, and the proof of the pudding is you have no food receipts. Then again, on redirect, Kevin Spacey's lawyer said, what are your favorite restaurants in Baltimore? He said, agave, good Mexican, a sushi place behind the Four Seasons, and Domino's. That doesn't really prove much. Domino's is all over the place. In any case, just now Kevin Spacey left the courthouse, but he had nothing to say. The trial begins in October, and I think if it doesn't settle, he will have quite a bit to say. And we'd asked him, rightly or wrongly, as he got into his car, what about that photograph with Ghislaine Maxwell on a throne in London? What about it? What about the Lolita Express? You see, the the substance didn't arrive at all today. The only thing that was discussed today is whether Kevin Spacey lives in Baltimore and loves Baltimore, and Judge Kaplan has accepted that he lives in Baltimore. And it seems that he does love Baltimore, and he loves the federal court. To be continued, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press.